You might know Joe Smallbone from the four-time Grammy Award-winning duo for King and Country. Now he's showcasing his family's life story in a theatrical movie titled Unsung Hero. Coming to theaters on April 26th, please welcome the one and only Joel to the morning show. Hello, Joel. Good morning. Nice to see you, Noah. It's nice to see you, Joel. And by the way, I love the director chairs behind you that say Lionsgate. It looks amazing. <laughs> I did that for you, man. I, I uh, Hollywood, you got to do it, you know? Yeah, right. That's right. Uh huh. Well, this is a fantastic movie. I cannot wait Thanks, for so man. many people to see this. Um, you know, Unsung Hero is a film based on your family's true life story. Uh, you know, going from Australia, coming to America. Tell us more about the movie and why you wanted to tell yeah. your family's story on the big screen. Yeah, man. It's a it's 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 a fascinating, maybe the most fascinating project I've ever been a part of. Um, as you mentioned, I'm in a band with my brother uh, for King Country. And mm -hmm. from about the beginning of the band, Noah, we have talked about um, our parents and our family's sort of migration from Australia to the United States and all the tragedies and triumphs that, that we faced along the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've done it in the show as sort of a pay it forward child advocacy moment in the performance. Mm -hmm. And so many people have come and said, you should, you know, you should write a book about this. And we say uh, we were homeschooled, so we don't read and write. Very well. So we'll give you one better. We'll give you a movie instead. Fast forward to 2020, pandemic. Luke called a producer, said uh, friend, and said, "What if we put this into in, into development? This 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 story, this '90s story, this true story about mums and music and miracles and migration and family and banding together to overcome." And obviously, there's been a lot of twists and turns from that day to this. But man, we're awfully proud of it. Um, I got the chance to co-write and co-direct it with Richard Ramsey. And then I got the real chance to play my dad in the film, which I've dubbed a very oh, cool expensive therapy session. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> to play your dad. Now, you know, Joel, stepping in your father's shoes and portraying your dad on screen, uh, did you learn things about your dad that you <sighs> thought you knew but did not know until bringing and telling the story to life, you know, for audiences to be able to see on screen? Yeah, you can say that again, man. I mean, <laughs> I experienced this as a child, right? And I got to right. say, as, even as one of seven, I felt so safe in mom and dad's love. I felt mm -hmm. safe uh, relationally. I felt safe emotionally. But then to flip the script, I'm roughly his age when he moved now. And to rewrite it and to re-image it, literally drop into his shoes or his jacket, his literal jacket from 30 years ago, which is what I wear most of the film, and feel the stress and the strain and the struggle and the pride and the insecurity and the compounding failure that he felt and the dreams that he had, mm -hmm. the empathy that I feel for him now. There's like a before and after moment with this film for me and him. And it's, uh, it's very profound. Yeah, very profound. Now, what was it like to work with Candace Cameron Bure, a longtime fan of her from Full House, you know, back to when she was DJ Tanner. And, you know, Ooh. she has her own production company, too, uh, Candy yeah. Rock Entertainment. You know, she helped, you know, bring this project to life with you, right? She did. Yeah, one, one could argue that the project wouldn't exist if it weren't for her because she came on in a very vulnerable place. We just lost our funding. Mm -hmm. um, we had no names attached to it other than our own. Right. And... And she not only lent her voice as a, uh, she read the script as an actress, but she also, and more so, led her voice as an executive producer, which is something she's really stepping into. And so I'm profoundly grateful for her stepping in the way she did, when, uh, how she did, when she did, and mm -hmm. believing. Um, and and I, I think she's done a marvelous job on both levels, in front of the screen and behind the screen. She's amazing. She is yeah. amazing, just like you, Joel. And by the way, you know, Candace is very open about this, but Joel, how important is it to you to bring more inspirational stories, you know, to the big screen and bring family-friendly, yeah. you know, faithful movies to audiences where everyone can watch? Because I think we truly, you know, lack that in our industry today. I mean, mm -hmm. We just don't see a, a lot of it. The, the, key, the key to me, Noah, is um, honesty. You know, mm -hmm. like, and, and, and hear me when I say, for those of you watching, listening, we wanted to make an honor project for sure, but we did not want to make a glory project. We wanted to make it right. guttural and grounded and warts and all. I think that's also equally important because the closer you go to your own heart in art, I think the closer you, the, the further you can reach out into someone else's. Mm -hmm. And, and man, that's the, that's, that's this project 
summed up to the T is that we wanted to step into this film, go, what's the closest to home, literally and figuratively story that we could tell the world. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's this, this pivotal pinnacle time in our parents and our sister's life. And so, yeah, whether it's Candace Cameron Bure, whether it's John Locke from Lost or Lucas Black from Fast and Furious, uh, the you know, Hilary Scott from Lady A, we've just had, or Lionsgate, we've had so many people rally around this film and this idea now. And I, man, I hope there's more. That's my hope is not only with us, but with other filmmakers, there needs to be more of this stuff put into the world. And by the way, Joel, just to share with you, uh, Hilary Scott from Lady A was my first interview ever that I ever did. <gasps> Yes. It's a closed loop. Yes. Noah. It was her with, uh, uh, you know, her Lady A uh, castmates there, or bandmates, yeah. not castmates, <laughs> bandmates. And uh, it was, you know, with all the local press. And here I am, little Noah, like at 14 years old, and I interviewed her. Yeah, I'm interviewing you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but good job, Hillary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, she was great. I actually remember where I was when I called her to be part of this film. And she she wants to get into more acting. And, and she, she was so... She's so beautifully nervous. She did such a great job. And uh, we got to, got to see her at the world premiere in Nashville a couple of nights yes. ago. She looked beautiful, her and Chris. And so all of you looked yeah, amazing. Man. It was, it was a, great like a really fun event. Yeah. Lionsgate's largest premiere ever. <gasps> wow. Or most attended. have been there. How dare I not even go up to Nashville? How dare you not? You're right there, man. How dare I not do that? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm in Georgia, but, you know, so I could have just drove on up there. You know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, it's been so nice to have you on the show. Thank you so much, Joel, for coming on the show. Go check out Unsung Hero coming to theaters on April 26th. Uh, I will definitely be checking this out with the fam. It's been so nice to have yeah. you on the show. We're out of time, Joel, but I could talk yeah, to you. Yeah, we are. I, I was going to say the same thing, man. We need to do a long form at some point. Yes. And as Noah we said, should. man, if you, if you love Mums, Miracles, Music, the 90s, family, faith, all of it, come to the theaters. For a day uh, and beyond, April 26th, we're calling it Family Day. And also, Noah, it's our parents' 49th wedding anniversary. 49th wedding anniversary. Happy early wedding anniversary to your parents. Yes. Bless you, buddy. Good to be with you. Thank you, Joel. You take care. You have a great day. See you, man.